New Hampshire's snowmobile season technically started last month, but without reliable snowfall, most local trails are still closed, leaving local clubs praying for snow. The season's been very dry. <laughs> and wet. A dry and wet season sounds like a contradiction, but it's the perfect way to describe the start to winter in New Hampshire. Very little snowfall, and when something has been coming from the sky, it's usually been a soaking rain. We've done a lot of signing and, and trail work and brushing, but we definitely need cold weather and snow. Matt St. George and Joe Hugh from the Suncook Valley Snow Riders say a snowless December isn't unheard of in their area of southern New Hampshire, but their club is eager to get going. There's a lot of chatter about how's the trail conditions, but obviously there's no snow on the ground. No snow in early January is far less common in farther north areas like Berlin, where the season started with promise, but intense rain has forced riders to push back their start. And then we had that devastating storm the week prior to Christmas, that heavy rain storm that, that warmth, record warmth, and it was devastating to our trail system. Bobby Rodrigue from the White Mountain Ridge Runners says his club is working hard to make repairs wherever needed. A 2011 study from Plymouth State found snowmobiling had a $586 million seasonal impact on New Hampshire's economy. But without snow, that spending is drying up. Berlin Gorham has been kind of the takeoff area in recent times, and Gorham has a lot of hospitality services, the rooms and restaurants and all, and they're, they're getting slammed with this weather. They're hurting economically hard. There is some hope in the forecast. A storm with potential to bring a decent amount of snowfall to the state could be just a few days away. In Pittsfield, Ross Ketchke, WMUR, News 9.